So next is from Gil Vasquez, and the subject is, was Crash TV beneficial for the wrestling business? What's going on, Keeping 100 Crew? Much love for the podcast as always, and hope all is well. Thank you. My question is specifically for Conan and Disco. You know what that means, Joe? That means he just wants yeah, me and Conan. Shut to. up. That's, I, I like it when people say that because they li- they're literally saying what, Conan? Yeah, we don't want to hear from Care Joe. what Joe says. <laughs> question is specifically for conan and disco okay over the years you both worked with vince russo during his days over in wcw tna i want to know your exact thoughts on the crash tv concept that vincent ed ferrara implemented i find it interesting for the simple fact that he gave an identity for the show and also provided character development for the talent or both your pros and cons with it thanks as always p.s kg is still a lame and looks like he smells it's interesting thanks kg looks um uh for, first of all, the Crash TV is just like a moniker that somebody put on it. <clears throat> Vince, uh, when Vince would write TV, he would like he would just give stuff guys a lot of stuff to do. You throw a bunch of shit against the wall and see what sticks, but you got to give stuff guys to do as opposed to giving guys nothing to do. Like you just take a guy, give him a cold match, no angle, no nothing, you just just nothing, and have him go out there and wrestle. It's like it's doing nothing for him. So Vince always tried to like juice up things, right? But the, the opposite of that would be, okay, you, you could be a fan of like a structured old school wrestling show, which, which you know, but like but if there were professionals, you know, professional wrestlers back then. You know, guys, you didn't have to script their promos. Dusty could go out there and cut five minutes and flare and, you know, and the shows worked like that because these guys were so good at it, right? But Crash TV, you just basically throw a bunch of against the wall and see what sticks. And once it does stick, then you kind of, all right, let's, let's, let's work with this, right? But, but the, the opposite of Crash TV, like the edgy stuff, you know, a guy getting his chopped off and you know val venus is sleeping with the guy's wives and they're showing him in bed <laughs> so i mean like stuff like that as opposed to like the type of tv that, that like w- with wade keller promos you know like what, what what show would be more interesting you know the stuff that has a bunch of stuff going on or the stuff that's like the guys talk about and he's fighting hard to be the champion and you know i mean like this this cookie cutter stuff so I, I don't know it just depends on how it's executed to be honest with you. what do you think no, but the guy also said are there any cons to it are there yeah, of course, because not you know, plans are there's not long term focus, you know. But it's difficult to do long term booking with guys that are you're experimenting with. You know, the per- 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 example, per- example, Vince did like a, three months worth of TV with uh, the Misfits in Action, which was um, Chavo and uh, Hugh Morris and stuff of those guys versus the Lance Lance and his Canadian guys, right? And that was like a long-term angle that they had. There was all moving parts. They were fighting for the belt. They had the U.S. title on the, you know, a lot of stuff. And Vince kind of like – like this was a good long, long-term thing. And it got to the point where Vince in the, in the booking thing, like I think Lance had just beaten Hugh for the U.S. title. We had the title change. The two top guys in the, in the angle had gone – one had gone over the other, right? And Vince was trying to continue it. I'm like, Vince, everybody's sick of this. I go, nobody wants to see four to six months of mint card guys in, in angles with each other. You want the whole purpose of this is to like maneuver these guys through other guys in the card. We've elevated these two guys, so now bring other mid card to try try to elevate you know what I'm saying? So it's like this is this is how I what I think about Vince. I think that what he did with Eddie Bear Ferrara in WWE was genius. And when people say, Oh, well, you know, Vince was the editor and you know, okay, yeah, he was the editor, but he didn't write it. They did. So don't minimize what he did by bringing up Vince. Right. But when he came to WCW, there were a couple of things I didn't agree with that I was like, this is kind of whack. And I almost feel like he's like N. Night Shalaman. You know how he had that one great movie, that first movie, he'll always be able to like, he made a classic, that Sixth Sense or whatever Sixth it was Sense, called. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, you know, like, I don't think he ever. I wouldn't say M. Night Shalaman. Met. met well, he, well, this, go ahead. Yeah, I don't think because M Night Shyamalan had some stinkers. Like yeah. he had a four star movie and a one and like two one star movies. Okay, you know but more like, like more like yeah. okay, but more like not so much stinkers after that, but that he had that one great run with WWE that can always say, "Hey, I'm proud of this," you know. And I don't know, maybe in WCW it was harder for him to get done because, as we both know, there were a lot of guys that did not want him to be there. Right. Okay. But still, there were skits that it didn't matter who they were with. They were not good, mm-hmm. like all those whatever on a pole matches that I thought right. was stupid. Right. And, um, you know, but I think that what he did in WWE, bro, when you look back, it was genius. It, and, yeah. he, and he experimented and, and he made wrestling, which was boring with the Dr. Yankum and all that. He didn't do bad you know? at Impact. The yeah. booking in, in TNA wasn't bad. You know, it was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was decent and solid. Plus, we had some top guys to work with. 
you know, you had Nash, you had Angle, you had, you had Sting, you know, you stuff everything. But uh, but the the impact booking was not the, the, the TNA was was actually decent. Like the stuff they did with you was was great. You know, I, I well, I was already done, bro, before he got in there. Well, no, that no, was, that back was, in that the two thousand the two thousand three stuff. Yeah, that was, was good. Really, he would, bro, yeah, he was yeah. very good with the sex stuff. Very good. Right, I, right. I will put that over. Yes, very right. good. And you so, were part of that too. That yeah. was good. Yeah. yeah, it was good stuff. It was edgy. If that had been on regular TV, that could have done something. Yeah. You know, because it was weird. We, 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 we tore the fourth wall down, but we still kind of respected the, the principles of the business. Yeah. You know? So, and plus, we had the good old school crowd to work in front of. In Tennessee, you know, they were like they'd boo the heels and cheer the baby faces. You know, so it was just, it was way easier back then. So 